Good morning, City Life family. It's my turn to do the little talk today. Uh, Monday of Holy Week leading up to Easter. It's going to be quite a difficult time for, the, for a lot of us this week, I think. We've been cooped up indoors for over two weeks now, um, and the medical implications of coronavirus are going to be increasingly difficult to cope with this week, by all accounts. So it's real time to keep pushing into God, keep praying and fasting, and um, finding out what God is saying to us, and being filled with faith and, and peace, and being real and bringing everything to God. And two things that uh, I want to just mention this week, we're starting a couple of prayer lines through the House of Prayer and through Love Southampton. What this means is anyone in Southampton can text in their prayer requests and it will get passed on to people in the churches who are praying. So that's something that you could join in with, you could register and receive a day, just a once a day bulletin of prayer requests, real fresh prayer requests coming in from the people of Southampton. And we've got actually two prayer lines, one is for everybody and one is for the NHS specifically. We want to provide cover for the NHS at this time, for our frontline workers. Um, and that's something that's been started in London and we've just basically copied it and are doing it here in Southampton too. So watch out for those and it's a great way to pray and bring God's blessing and life to the city. The other thing is um, we've refreshed the SoHop website with a few resources for Easter. There is a lovely thing that Andy and Naomi Hugill from New Zealand have been involved in, in writing and it's available now. It's called Graves to Gardens from New Zealand. It's great. There's a link to that on um, the SoHop webpage. We've got a, like SoHop slash Pray which has got a load of resources there. And there's a really good thing come through as well from Prayer Spaces for Schools who have become prayer spaces for homes since the lockdown. And they've released some simple A4 sheets of resources that are suitable for all the family of prayer activities you can do. And they're really good, so I recommend those. Have a look at those. You might find them helpful this week in your planning. But I've got something that Jesus said, which I think is really uh, fresh and new for us in this week, in this day today. And I'm just going to read it and talk a bit about it. It's from Matthew 11. And Jesus said, Father of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. My Father has entrusted everything to me. No one knows the Father except the Son and no one truly knows the Son except the Father. And sorry, I've got that all the wrong way around. It starts with no one knows the Son except the Father and no one truly knows the Father except the Son and those the Son chooses to reveal him. And then Jesus says this bit. So you need the context for this. It's helpful. But this is the bit Jesus really wants us to hear today. Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you. Because I'm humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. So just bear in mind the context for Jesus saying these things, is saying that God has hidden things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and revealed them to the childlike. So, you know, Rachel was mentioning last week how our children are getting it. And, you know, let's just continue in a childlike faith and come to God as our Father. And it doesn't matter if we don't know everything. You know, he will teach us and, and learn. we'll learn stuff as we come in that, in that I need you, God, sort of attitude. And Jesus will reveal the Father to us. And so he says, come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens. So if you're feeling that at the moment, this is for you. This is for you. And what does Jesus say? You will find rest for your souls. And he says it twice in these verses. He's really clear. It's about finding rest for our souls and our hearts. So we need to be able to find out how to do this. So first thing is, come to me, says Jesus. And the, sex, the second thing is, take my yoke upon you. So a yoke is what two oxen had to make them keep in step together when they're pulling a cart or a plough. And Paul Woodman spoke on this a few years ago about the, the McDonald's golden arches. We all recognise the yellow golden arches of McDonald's. And he said, so that's just like a yoke. One for you, one for Jesus. You get next to him, you, you walk along with him. And so that's what Jesus is saying. And he's saying his yoke is easy and his burden is light, which sometimes you might wonder at. But that's what he says. 
So let's take it. And I think really his yoke, how are we joined to Jesus? Through the Holy Spirit. This is the great thing that Jesus came to tell everybody. You know, John the Baptist was before Jesus and said, someone's coming who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And that is what Jesus is all about. We believe in him. We're born again. We're full of the Holy Spirit. And we're connected to him through the Spirit, not through rules and regulations and trying hard, but through the Holy Spirit. So his yoke is there. It's easy and light. It's the Holy Spirit inside us. And then he, he says the key thing here, let me teach you, for I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest for your souls. Let me teach you. Now, some of you might be hearing the words of, I think it's Tom Cruise in a particular film, where he's going, help me help you to one of his clients or something. And Jesus is saying the same kind of thing. Let me teach you. So we've got to let him teach us. How do we do that this week? How do we do that today? Well, let's spend time reading the Bible because that's the word of God. It fuels us up. It fills us with fire and power. It reveals God's heart. It's got poetry. It's got sad songs for us. It's got happy songs. It's got all the different kind of things. So let's just keep digging in. And if you like a boxed set, as we often talk about these days, why not take something like 1 John? 1 John is just all about love. Love, 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 all the way through. Read it in 1 sitting read it out loud God will really bless your heart Jesus will you know take you into a school and he'll teach you and you'll learn from him and you will find rest for your souls we will find rest for our souls so that's that's the sort of thing I'm suggesting there I don't think there's many much more to say on that but just God bless you today have a wonderful day and um, look forward to the next talk tomorrow thank you bye